How's it going guys? This is Lucian Sword back again today with some more Brawlhalla content. Uh, this time let's hop into the training room. Um, I know that most of the time I'm just playing a game, but I figured that I would go over some basic combos, especially uh, with unarmed. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick Brynn because she's the best legend in the game. I'm just kidding. She's, <laughs> she's not the best legend, but I just like her. Um, so a lot of times when I'm playing against people that are like in silver or gold rank especially, they don't have a lot of understanding of like movement and also uh, general combos in the game. So we'll just go over a few of those things. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm practicing what I call my fast hops. <laughs> I don't know what the official name for them are, um, but if you jump normally, it's going to look like this. You know, you just kind of jump up and down kind of slowly. If you do a fast hop, you're you're jumping and falling quickly. And you can also dash backwards doing the same way. So how you do the fast hop is you basically are jumping in a diagonal direction, but you're doing a sh uh, dash and a jump almost simultaneously. I do it in, in like dash jump, like, oh, like one, two. Like I'm hitting the buttons that fast. So dash jump and in the direction you want to go, dash jump. And you'll get a fast kickoff like that if you do it right. You can only do it in the direction you're facing, however. So if you dash jump, you get a, a little quick hop. And then I also um, add in the fast fall. So ha quick hop and then fast fall. And you could just keep doing it and chaining it. And it makes you a little bit faster to get around. It's also useful to approach sometimes. Um, to quickly approach instead of just running at the person um, also you, you can mix it up with like jump a couple times jump three times sometimes you always want to be moving a lot and dashing a lot basically so that you're unpredictable or at least you seem to be um, you can throw in some back steps you never want to be just kind of standing there doing nothing like Sir Roland is right now um, so that that's one of my first tips is learn how to do fast hops I'm just doing some basic combos, I don't really know, uh, or basic uh, tips rather. Um, not like a full in-depth how to get good at Brawlhalla, but just some basic things that you should probably know. Alright, so now let's go into some unarmed combos. Um, the reason I, I'm doing unarmed is because a lot of times people feel really, really weak without a weapon um, to the point where they don't even want to uh, engage you unless they have a weapon. Which, I mean, that's fine to some extent, but... You also want to be pretty confident unarmed. So let me show you some easy unarmed combos that everybody should know if you want to get to platinum. Um, so the first one that I would say is to start with a downlight, which is your slide kick, okay? Um, that's a really good combo starter. So you can do you can do combos like that. You can do like you can do a downlight into jump neutral light, you can do downlight into ground pound, you can do downlight into recovery. Um, basically you're doing a downlight jump and then ground pound. Or downlight jump recovery, downlight jump neutral light. Um, another good way to, a good time to do it is when they're on the edge. So if I kick them off that, oh wow that was too hard. Will he get back? Come on Roland. Alright watch. You, you pop them right when they're coming over. I didn't do it very good right there. Let's see if I can get it again. Right when he sticks his head up, bam. You down light off the edge, and then you can ground pound and kill. That's a very useful move, especially in like gold rank. They'll never see it coming, because in that rank, people just don't know how to do that most of the time. Um, you can also combo it like quite a bit. It's, you can down light, do a neutral light. You just want to be... Here, let's... let's Let's make Sir Roland actually move here. Um, let's put him to hard. Okay, it's almost easier when they're moving. Um, I like to do into a dash down light. Like, okay, Roland. All right, he wants to show you some combos too. Like dash down light, and then gravity cancel neutral heavy. Like, bam. That's also a really good move. Um, so you can go. Ooh, nice one. You want to get right under them and then gravity cancel uh, recovery. A lot of people don't expect that coming, again, especially in the lower ranks. Bam! Roland definitely sees it coming every time. 
You don't even have to jump to do it. You can just do a down light and then... Oops, I didn't do it there. Let me try again. Oops, sorry. Roland, you're not cooperating. You can also do the gravity cancel down light into recovery or gravity cancel down light ground pound. Um, mixing it up with the gravity cancels really does help. My favorite combo is basically down light into uh, ground pound because then you can usually, especially when they're in low, le low health like this, you can go bam and then instantly recover or you can go um, into a re uh, neutral. Hold on. Roland's not, not cooperating. You can do it off the edge right there, and you can see there it can mess people up. You go down here, you gravity cancel down light, and then ground pound. That also works really well. Ooh, Roland. Okay, Roland. Okay, I see how it is. He's a little too aggressive. Let's let, let's turn him to uh, medium. So that combo is one that I do a lot, you probably see in my videos. So that's basically down light, ground pound, recovery, or let me try it. Down light, ground pound, neutral light. He has too much health now. It, it only, some of these combos only work well if, um, sorry Roland, if they have, I'm gonna set his damage back down, if they have low health. So, oh my goodness Roland. And then chase dodge. Um, also, don't underestimate this move, the side air, unarmed. That move, if they're in red, it will kill. And the bots can show you that. They do it all the time. It's actually really good to chase people and hit them with that, especially if they're in red. If you can read their uh, jumps, like you know where they're gonna jump, just go down light, gravity cancel, down light, ground pound. It, it works really good, even against diamonds. Um, sometimes it doesn't catch all the time, like that time you saw. I also really like to incorporate down airs, which is that slanted kick. Um, instead of trying to hit them like right at first, I try to look at where they're landing or where they're gonna go. It's, it looks a little risky because if you miss, it's easy to punish, but you can go you, here, let me show you another combo. You can go like down light. Ooh, Roland. No, no, no. Don't be doing that to me, Roland. Alright, let me throw I'm not doing spear training right now. A lot of people like to do the uh, um, down light into punch, which I'm not very good at. The bots seem to be freaking OP at that, but for some reason, like that. Um, that's also a good kill move, but. Honestly, I prefer killing with the, uh, this one, the, uh, neutral heavy. Especially if you, like, pop them and then gravity cancel do it, like that. Usually it'll be too fast to dodge. Depending on their, uh, health. But never underestimate it, guys. Like, it, it is very, very good. Um, what else can I show you with unarmed? Mm, well, since I have Brynn, I guess I could show you a few basic spear combos like side light, down light, gravity cancel, down light, side air. That's a bread and butter spear combo. Um, you can mix it up a little bit. Oops. Also, the, the poking. That really <laughs> helps. <laughs> um, I was just kind of doing a, a, a random... I just want to do a random tips video. If you guys want me to give you tips on like a specific weapon or something let me know I can try I'm not like a god with any weapon but I, I know basic stuff and really if you know basic stuff like this it really really is good <laughs> like you you'd be surprised at how strong unarmed can be if used correctly I mean you want to be careful especially if they have a weapon and you don't but also a good tactic if they have a weapon and you don't and you're trying to be safe is to just fall on them and do neutral light like as you're falling. Um, it can... Okay, I keep picking up weapons, but... Anytime I'm hitting them, I'm also chase dodging right after. So I'm dod I hit and then I chase dodge. It gives you a much faster um, attempt at comboing.
Some people like to do downlight and then gravity cancel downlight again. Like that. Um, you can do that if you have the dodge for it, but... And it looks fancy if you do it, but I don't know if it's the best because you're you're using your gravity cancel when you do that just to do a downlight. I prefer using my gravity cancel to do a heavy. Um, and keep in mind, when you do a chase dodge on the ground, it doesn't use up your dodge. So, like, I can chase dodge downlight, and if I hit... Um, I can then jump and do a gravity cancel like that. Um, you could you could also do a downlight into sides like that if they. Okay, that wasn't a very good. Like that. That also looks kind of flashy if you can pull it off, especially in midair like that. Um, oops, didn't jump over them. You kind of gotta like jump right on top of their head to do it. On this level especially, another tip that I'll give you, I'm, I'm just doing random tips in this video, but if they have kind of high health and they're walking around on this platform, if they get hit from above like you just saw with that crocky, they go straight down into Valhalla, okay? Um, unless they jump, but you see if they're just standing, they will get knocked down from that platform. Alright, so I'm going to make him just stand again. Um, so, like, they don't expect it a lot of times. You'd be surprised. They'll be running around down here. Nobody expects you to just randomly just ground pound right there. And then, if they have high health, it definitely uh, can can make the biggest difference in getting a kill. Oh yeah, one more thing I want to show with the unarmed, and then probably wrap this video up, uh, is off slide off sigs or slide off uh, heavy attacks. They work good. Um, with any weapon, but they also work good with unarmed. So you can slide off while holding a neutral heavy. You just kind of, I, I usually dodge towards the edge and start holding down the heavy attack as I'm sliding. So I'll dodge and then hold it. And you can do that. You can do the side sig. Okay, I didn't do it there. Like that. Um, you can reverse it if you're really good. Like that. Um, that takes a little, <laughs> I'm just it just takes... Um, the down the down heavy is also really good. I usually do down heavy. I'll like hit them off and then slide off. I mean, you gotta be careful with if they have a weapon like that, but I usually do the down heavy. I almost hit him there. Um, I'll probably kill him pretty soon if I'm not careful. But if you time it right and you get a little bit of luck, you can uh, pull off some instant kills with the slide off. And like I said, it also works with any weapon, so I like to do a slide off neutral sig. And you can hold it for a long time, like you see how far I fall down there. Way down there. And you can do it with any sig you want. You can do a turnaround uh, sig like that. I wouldn't recommend the down sig like this, that'd be really hard to hit with Bryn. Um, what I like, to, it depends on the weapon, like with spear, I like to do a slide off down sig like this, because you can grab and hit really easily. But... Like that. Um, I also like to slide off, do a neutral sig like that. Slide off side sig works, but it's a little bit harder to hit. Alright guys, I just want to give you some uh, tips there. Um, if you have any uh, specific uh, weapons you would like me to give you some combos on, I can, I can teach basic combos on pretty much any weapon. Um, and that will help a lot to get to gold or, or platinum as well, is learning combos and being confident with unarmed. Just knowing a few moves like, like slide off six and some basic things that you can do, it really, really can make your game a lot better. Um, not really talking about reads and, and everything else right now. There's obviously a lot to get good at with this game, but if you just master like some basic unarmed combos like this, uh, it can really give you that kill, like right there. That's so, anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like. I know the unedited training is going to be kind of hit or miss, but hopefully um, you guys learned something in this video. And uh, if you enjoy Brawlhalla content, be sure to go ahead and subscribe. I'm always putting that out there. And uh, that's about it guys. This is Lucian Sword. I will see you next episode. Take it easy.